Good morning, boys and girls. It is 1.51 a.m. on Monday morning. It's officially the third day of the hunt. I haven't been up there yet, so I'm headed up now uh, to meet Clayton and Doug up there. I uh, haven't heard from those guys since Saturday morning, so hopefully they've got one on the ground when I get up there. That would be an awesome start to my trip. We're gonna be up there through Friday, so I have basically four solid days to hunt, and that is hopefully gonna be enough. You never know with California blacktail archery. It might take four hours, it might take four weeks, so get up there and get after it. Headed to meet Clayton and Doug. Um, it's just taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Um, just because the roads are really rough. I broke a shock on the rig, so I had to pull over and uh, fix that, and then it broke again completely. So I had to just remove it. So just rolling with three shocks. That's exciting. Made it after a year 2018 archery season northern california we just hiked in uh about halfway to uh our remote camp setup and then um we're gonna glass tonight and hopefully get on deer before the day's out um, if not we've got several more days to do it so um, it's gonna be a good trip it's pretty smoky but um we're not letting that stop us so it is Monday the 20th. So I actually got up here on Friday, the day before the opener. Kicked up some nice bucks on opening morning. Um, so now we're gonna lay the hammer down. I got them for you. So this is what you call roughing it. We are, I don't know, two miles from civilization. A We're tent. a lot longer than two miles from civilization. <laughs> <laughs> We're two miles from our truck, which is in the middle of nowhere. But right now our truck feels like the Holiday Inn Express, so uh, we've got ourselves. Dude, there's peanut butter, apple jelly. Get out. Yeah. We got, over here we got a bag of gooey stuff, and then we got vanilla pound cake. I'm gonna pound that. Multi-grain snack bread, man. So, yeah, this is fine dining. We are delving into an MRE. So, this morning we set up in a, in a burn area. Uh, and we know that the deer are moving through here. Um, they, they filtered in just like we thought they would, uh, but they just didn't quite <laughs> go where they were supposed to go because they must have not got the memo. Um, so we had three, three bucks come through early and we just watched them feed across the hill and they only got within 80 yards. And so they left and then about an hour later, a nice three by three came in and ended up bedding at the top of the hill so I tried to put a stock on him and I got within about 70 yards until there was a doe with him and she started barking her head off. So he, they kind of got up and meandered out. Luckily, they never winded us. They never really got a good eye on us. My plan now is to push down the ridge, get deeper into the bedding areas and just slow and go, spotting as we go. So bump one up, put it on the ground.
What just happened? We left our spot and we we're hiking back to camp. And we got about halfway back to camp and Clayton's like, let's try to side hill right here and see if it gets us to sh a shortcut back to camp. I'm like, all right, fine. I didn't want to side hill because it hurt your ankles. So we come over, we're walking along. All of a sudden Clayton's like, dude, a bug. We look down the hill and there's a spike sitting there staring at us. We recognize him. Clayton's like, I guarantee you that's the same spike that was with that forky that walked through earlier this morning. Yeah, there was morning. two spikes and a fork. So I figured they stuck together, popped over the ridge, bedded right here on the, on the side of the hill. So that's exactly what happened. We came over here, there was three deer bedded. I got a tree between me and him. I started stalking in and I got within 45 yards. I took a shot. My arrow's sticking right there in that tree. Just yeah. missed him. <laughs> they hopped down about another 15 yards and stopped again. So I kept going, kept going, kept the tree between us. I stepped out, I had a shot at 55, took it, clean shot right in the vitals. Heard it go thwack. He hunkered over and, and ran off. I tried to get another one in him, but I missed that one. It was like 65 and he was downhill and so he limped off and uh, we're giving it a minute we're gonna try to get my arrows back and then go find him buck down all right we're uh we got down in this gorge and uh, i shot the deer right up there somewhere and we heard a lot of rocks as he came down the hill so it sounded like he was falling and running down the hill. So we're just trying to, we came from the bottom and we're going up to try to intersect the blood trail or maybe just happen upon him. Awesome. <laughs> Good little forky, dude. <laughs>